Welcome back guys and we are back again, it has been a while since I uploaded, unfortunately we have been moving house and it's been a little bit harder to actually get online, I am still waiting for the Wi-Fi. Um, that is why I am Steve right now and <laughs> not my normal skin, but I thought I'd get a little video done, just a little bedrock command block video, um, just to sort of get into the spirit of things and keep things going until my Wi-Fi is finally here, we can start recording properly and some cool stuff again. And of course if you haven't already read the title, um, this is going to be a horse track sort of timer here, you can actually use it for anything, it can be running, horse horses, you know, whatever you can ride really, which pretty much is horses. So let's just go for an example first, and we have here our nice little racetrack, as you can see, um, it's not exactly too long, we got some way markers here, so as you're running or riding your horse, you can see exactly how fast you are, and the idea is you want to be able to test getting from the start to the finish right here. This of course does include a built-in timer, so it'll tell you how uh, or how long you've taken, um, and then it will take it away from the scoreboard after a while, so it doesn't just stay up on the scoreboards, it's like a thing that you can check, it lasts about 15 seconds or so, um, and then it'll disappear off again as you can see here when i pause the menu i've got nothing but my steve name uh, over here let's just go grab a horse uh, make sure i don't break the fence there we go we've got our lead um right let's open this up try not to lose any horses in the uh, in the meantime come on there we go right so as we we're saying as you can see before on the right hand side you can see that i've got steve um, if I now start to race after I go past the start line, you're going to see that it's actually um, going to, well, you'll see in a second, you can see it's going to create a timer. Um, and of course, that will stop when I go over this part here. If I press start, you're going to see uh, the timer scoreboard. Now, it's taken eight because I'm doing it in seconds, and it's taken eight seconds. Now, the way that this works, this will last for about 15 seconds. That is entirely up to you how long you want it. And then it will clear, uh, taking it away from the screen like so. Now, I'm sure there are many uses uh, for something like this. However, I just thought the, the, or the easiest one would be a horse racing track. Of course, you can race with your friends, horses, go all sorts of speeds, so you can try and get a champion within your server or realm. And whilst we're here, I'm just going to take a little trick back, because in fact, uh, the server that I am using right now, or the world, shall I say, used to be the old Server X, which I am uh, <laughs> I am wanting to bring back to life, but check this out, it's got our own little racetrack already. This, in fact, has got another system, which we will go through in another command block video, um, where you can see how many laps races have got and stuff like that. Man, do I miss this server. With night fast approaching, I suppose we'd best make it back and actually see how to do this. And by the power of commands, it shall be day. So as you can see, um, with my really ex expertly uh, written signs here, we've got a little slow, we've got a fast horse. Let's just go for a slow horse just so you can see um, that it does actually take a bit of a time difference. It's not all just going to be the same thing. Um, you know, everybody comes in at the exact same time. Uh, see if we can hop over. Can we hop over? Come on. There we go. We've got some skills. Um, oh my god, that now... When I wrote slow, maybe I should have wrote very slow, but you know, um, it's making it down the tracks, we're hitting the 40 blocks, we're about to hit the 50 blocks, it's looking good, we probably wouldn't have won the race, we might have been lapped by now, but it's okay, our time is going, let's just check out how slow this horse is exactly, right, so now we've hit over this part here, let's check it out. That's an amazing 17 seconds right there. So again, like before, this will disappear after about 15 seconds. So let's take this slow Sally back to the stable um, and actually get down to some of the commands for this. Yay, right, we're finally back. So slow Sally, back in your pen. Um, let's lead you back up again so we don't want to lose them. I don't know why, but you know, it's a thing. So anyway under this beautifully uh, constructed track over here we are going to find some commands within it as you can see here now of course let's just go through some requirements first you do need to be an op on the server or realm and of course you do need to be in uh, game mode c this again is for bedrock version so let's get down to some of the commands so i'll try and explain as we go through and we're going to start off over with this region over here now before i start off with any of the commands to actually do this uh, one of the first ones that i do suggest doing is adding a ticking area to this particular area um this means that if they run away from the chunk that's unloaded and um, it will still do it uh, to a particular you know distance so otherwise it might be that it started to add uh, the time to your seconds or how many seconds you have and it's adding you a score however you go out of the area um, and then it will stop counting it so just always add a ticking area this will make any commands within uh, this certain four chunks around me right here um, work anywhere throughout the server to do that um, you can do this of course in the command bar or you can do this through a command block if you're doing a command block just use the impulse unconditional needs redstone and, and pop a button on it uh, when you press the button on it you get a successful message on the bottom and the actual command is ticking area all in one we're going to add 
We're going to do a circle, so we want a circle around us, tilde, 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 four, which is the maximum, which is four chunks in a circle around you. And then finish it off with ride, which will be the name of the ticking area. Um, it has changed message here because I did accidentally click it with a button. Uh, in the meantime, uh, it's just saying that this already exists. You can't make two of the same named ticking areas. Um, once you have done that, you pressed enter or you pressed your button, it will tell you that you're using how many out of 10 ticking areas if you've done it correctly. And any commands that you do in here will work throughout the whole server. Next up is the way that we're actually going to get uh, one score for every one second, sort of implying that, you know, every one second, we're going to get one score which again is just showing the player that they've spent a second on the racetrack so with this we're going to need a repeating unconditional always active command block and again this is quite a lot of the reason why we need a ticking area here because we need this um, to be sort of valid to the player all the way till the end of the track and it also means that you can make a super long track now I've got a bit ahead of myself here and we of course have not added the actual scoreboard objective so um, before we get into that one what we're going to do is we're going to do a forward slash we're going to do a scoreboard we're going to do an objectives um, we're going to do an add and you can call this whatever you want as you can see here I've already got one and I've added one mine is called timer um, you, you could literally call it whatever you want uh, just remember it and it is case sensitive so whenever you have to refer to it again and um, if it's capital T make sure you write down a capital T now press enter there of course I won't because I have already done it so back to the command block now we're going to open that up and as you can see here we've got a scoreboard this time players not objective and we're going to be adding so scoreboard players add at a this is going to be everybody um, and then with the square brackets we're going to do a tag equals start timer start timer is more of a reference so you can again use different wording uh, if you want to just stick with this one just put start timer and then close the bracket and this means that anybody with that particular tag of start timer um, will get one score so after the square bracket you can then then write the objective so um, if you did write something different to timer this is where you would write your objective down here uh, then space and then one um, this is just going to be one score every time. So again, a quick run through scoreboard players add. We're going to be adding to every player because it's at A, any player with a tag of start timer. And we're going to be adding to the objective of timer. And we're going to be adding one score. So if we come out of there, you can see it's repeating unconditional always active. And it's a 20 tick delay. The reason for that is that's one second. So it's going to give you one score every one second. Uh, therefore making your race uh, work really. Because it will actually show you how many seconds uh, with a score you have been. Awesome. Technical bits almost over now, so let's just get to the start and finish. Now what we have here is one command block. Let me just show you exactly where the actual command block is placed without destroying too much. Um, so I've done a uh, pressure plates, a line of pressure plates right here. This will also explain the redstone in a minute. Um, because basically I want anybody that passes anywhere along this line for it to be activated Of course you can just have one area like this and just make it simple So before we get to the two commands, let's just make sure this bit is set up So you need to press your play above a block um, I would then put the command block right under it The reason I've got redstone right here is because um, when it does get pressed It will light up all the redstone or sorry if I press it right here let's say So if I press um, go down on the pressure plate it's going to light up that and it's going to hit the command block same with this side, if I go on the last pressure plate it's going to do the same thing and it's going to light up, so either way it's going to hit the command block. Um, let me just come to the end right now just to actually finish it so it doesn't keep timering me. Oh, 192 seconds, not too good. By the power of commands, stop raining. Wouldn't mind a little light too. There we go, back to normal. So um, so now you get how this bit sort of works. You can, of course, design the start yourself or just have one pressure plate above a command block. Um, or again, you can use a block within it because it will transfer it to that command block right there. So the first command block that you do want it to hit is going to be an impulse, unconditional needs redstone. This is because you only want it to activate as soon as somebody actually presses uh, some sort of redstone or pressure plate or a button above it. We're, we're going to have zero ticks on delay because we want it to happen straight away. And the actual command is going to be a tag at P. So so you're tagging the closest player to the button or the command block and we're going to be adding a tag so it's add and this is going to where you're going to want to match it with the other command block where I said earlier about the tag in the square brackets so obviously my one is called start timer you can call it whatever you like you can just put start if you like and you're going to be adding the tag of start to the person that is closest when they activate the pressure plate so if I activate that I'll be the closest to this block that will then give me the tag of start timer um, and then because of that we're going to come back to the repeating 
in command block, this has now recognized um, that you are a person with a tag of start timer. So it's going to start adding one score every one second. Next up in the line, we do have a command block and just make sure that it's actually come off it properly uh, with the arrows pointed this way. And we're going to right hand click on this. What this is going to do is it's actually going to pop it up on your screen. So after you go past the first command block and it starts the timer, it's also going to pop up on your pause menu um, with a live counter just to show you exactly what that looks like. So I didn't actually show it whilst I was riding. If I start over here um, and then I press pause, you can see I now have a live counter, which is going to be every one second. It's going to give me one score. Um, of course, to actually finish this, we're just going to have to go to the end again um, and just finish it off because those are going to be the last two commands. And that is what they do. They stop the timer. So this last one is going to be a chain unconditional, always active. Um, and it's basically waiting for the one before it to activate um, to then activate this one. This one's going to be a scoreboard objectives set display because you're going to be setting the display we're going to put it, be putting it on the list option which is your pause option on the right hand side and we want to list the objective of timer of course again if you have made your objective a different name just write that name it is cane sensitive so just make sure that it's spelled exactly the same also this is a train unconditional always active with, with zero ticks in delay um, so again a quick explanation you've gone over this to start this has now added the tag um, the repeating command block over there has now started adding a score every one second and this command block right here has at the same time uh, put your display up of how many seconds um, are going through every second or how many points are going through every second shall I say. Now if we just head um, in my little underground passageway over here to the last two command blocks and these are the last oops sorry the last three command blocks even these are the last three command blocks that you are going to need and then you are completely complete um as you can notice here i've done the same thing with the finish line with the redstone just in case somebody um comes over this part you still want them to be able to finish the race uh, and stop the timer so by doing this you're going to get the redstone activating the command block no matter where they go over the pressure plates so same thing again pressure plates over the top we're going to do the uh, blocks underneath underneath that at one point you're going to need to put a command block and the first one you're going to put um, is an impulse unconditional needs redstone this is again because you want it to only activate once the player has gone over it um, and this is going to be removing the tag so it's going to be a tag at a so at this point you can actually change it so at the moment i've got it tag at a because this is only for a single person trying to time their track so it will remove everybody this is also if anybody maybe have, has ran off maybe died in the meantime and um, this will sort of ensure that everybody will then get cleared once that last person has gone and uh, what you can also do is do tag at p because this will mean it will only remove the tag from the closest person which is the person at the finish line if you want multiple people uh, doing timers after doing the tag at a or at p you're going to do remove because you want to remove it and then we're going to spell out start timer or whatever you have named it yourself um, again just make sure that it's spelled exactly the same and it's going to be removing that tag if we just um, come a little bit to the next one again just making sure that they're all facing the same direction with the arrows and um, this one's going to be chain unconditional always active because we want it to to activate um, once that first command block has been activated by the pressure plate um, and this is going to be scoreboard players set at a timer zero now again this can be changed if you want this to um, so you've got continuous people going down the tracks you might not want to score um, or put their scores all down to zero which will mean zero seconds um, if you want to change that you can do a scoreboard players set at P so this will be the closest person so the person that's just gone over the finish line um, timer which is the name of the objective and then back to zero and this will basically clear them so when they next go back over the start line um, they, they will start at zero again now let's come off of this and let's go to the last command block here and then we're pretty much all done so chain unconditional always active again um, and this is going to be a scoreboard objectives set display list so this will actually take it off the pause menu so as you can see here if I press um, press pause I haven't got any timers on you can leave it on yourself but I just find it a little bit neater to just take it off after the rider has finished his course so for this we're going to need a uh, like I said before chain unconditional always active and we're going to do a scoreboard objectives set display and then list because you haven't put a name of what you want to set in the list display it's just going to clear it back to nothing if you perhaps use a currency and you want that to appear back on your pause menu um, just put the name of the currency after the list say maybe you use money just write money um, and then once it has cleared from the pause menu it will then get reinstated here um, with the objective that you want to list on there of course if you want to clear it just leave it like this and just like that you've got yourself a working timer for some sort of race course on your server or your realm so thanks for watching, I do apologise about my non-normal character. And of course don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. So thanks for watching, we'll see you next time, bye bye.